So today I'm going to share five node video editing tips that can be of help to you when compositing VFX, text animation, and a lot more. So did you know that after compositing special effects on your footage, you can directly choose how the effects blend or overlap each other? So for example, Let's say I have the rain effect and a snowflake effect applied to my footage. As you can see, the snowflake effect sits on top of the rain effect. But to add more realism, I'll adjust the snowflake effect to be inside the rain effect by moving the effect panel on top of the rain effect. As you can see, this little adjustment changes the composition and makes it more realistic because the snowflake effect now appears to be inside the rain. You can also apply this technique when color grading your footage to add more color depth and tone to your videos. Next, I'll show you the importance of the solo icon when compositing VFX. Let's say I have multiple effect layers lined up in my timeline and I want to edit a particular layer. Clicking on the solo button will temporarily turn off the visibility of all other layers, allowing me to focus and edit a specific layer similar to Adobe After Effect. So now let's discuss about the adjustment layer tool. Suppose I have a text timeline set up and add an adjustment layer and also added the perspective transform effect. As you can see, tweaking the transform generally affects both layers. But let's say I want to apply the effect to the next layer alone. I'll head to the layer options and select apply to next layer. Now the effect is specifically applied to the next layer, which is a great way to add effects and animation to specific layers. Finally, I'm going to show you a quick method to drag and organize your footage into a group folder. First, simply open the layer manager, click the folder icon, and then drag your footage into it. This way, you've easily created a group folder. So if you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time. Peace.